speaking of tremendous disappointments, let's talk about Rudy Giuliani's, um, I'd say, it, failing lawsuits. Uh, if there is a kraken in the ocean, I would love to see it now. I watched Ben Shapiro's podcast about this yesterday, and he's right. The best time to release it would have been yesterday. The next best time is today. The worst time is tomorrow. Like, I don't know why they're doing a poor job of this, because it seems... That as we have been covering on the podcast, there are lots and lots and lots of at least individual examples of voter fraud that are very concerning, and this should be something that is very difficult to refute. But instead, um, re- referring to this um, CNN article about it, uh, Giuliani is making much bigger claims than he can demonstrably prove, and I think this is a bad example. Um, So, in the case of Lancaster and and Fayette counties uh, in Pennsylvania, um, he wanted it so they couldn't cure the absentee ballots and and check those with procedural mistakes. And the judge said back to him, you're alleging that two individual plaintiffs were denied the right to vote, but at the bottom you're asking this court to invalidate more than 6.8 million votes, thereby disenfranchising every single voter in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Uh, Could you tell me how this result can possibly be justified? Um, Not exactly a good start. You know, that's like the scope of what he's asking for there is way too big. And the problem is that he's essentially presenting a conspiracy theory, um, which I mean, I'm not saying there's no truth to the fact that there's been a conspiracy. I think there obviously has been, at least to some degree. Uh, But Giuliani is going way too big, way too fast, in my opinion. Uh, For example, he says... um, uh, the Giuliani argued the Trump campaign had been blocked from observing ballot process in key cities and Democrats could have conspired to commit election fraud by counting absentee votes. Both assertions the judges have repeatedly rejected and courts unfounded or wrong. But the thing is, that's not, <clears throat> that's not unfounded or wrong, but the rejections are coming further down the line because of the, the expanding of what he's saying. For example, Giuliani said, if this is allowed without serious sanctions, this will become an epidemic. It it just all happened in big cities controlled by Democrats who all of a sudden decided you don't have the right to inspect an absentee ballot. You'd have to be a fool to think this was an accident. Uh, And he says, we're not honoring direct, uh, we're not uh, alleging direct fraud, but uh, they're saying it's a fraudulent process. And this, I mean, it does look like it's a fraudulent process, but my God, like the, the case was not, very well laid out and i was watching a few um <clears throat> youtube lawyers uh talking about it and they are like don't get buy into the hype of this this is not going brilliantly in fact this seems to be going very badly it could have been a lot better framed giuliani hasn't been in the courtroom in like 30 years and it shows like putting yeah. your conclusion before your reasoning yes and like i've heard some excerpts from the from the courtroom and it, would, it was something like um the judge asked um what kind of level of scrutiny should I put to this? And Julian was like, the normal level. She was like, so strict scrutiny. No, the normal scrutiny. <laughs> Just like, yeah, what, as in, what, for anyone who doesn't on? know, there, there is actually legal terminology that the judge is asking for there. And they, so, you know, I don't, I don't know what it is because I'm not a lawyer, but it's, Giuliani saying normal, yeah. that's a colloquial yeah. term. Strict scrutiny is like a legal, legal term that means yeah. something. Normal scrutiny is nothing. And just, yeah. like, it was really weird. Yeah. Frustrating, frankly. It's, it's like Ben Shapiro told it pointed out because i watched the the show as well and it was we keep finding instances of like hundreds of votes going to trump because of mess ups and well thousands now in yeah georgia, or, or thousands but you you know if thousands would get him back georgia yeah. um but he's got to find over a hundred thousand or whatever it is in pennsylvania yeah and in michigan or wisconsin yeah so the the uh, but the the thing that he should be focusing on is specifically the 4 a.m deliveries of like one hundred and thirty thousand votes for biden like there, this this is something that he should be. I, you know, the, what he's alleging is a giant, vast conspiracy, and that's very easy for them to go. Oh, there's no proof. There's nothing there. If he was specifically talking about a particular time, particular date, signed affidavits from the witnesses who were the ones f- filming the, uh, you know, cell phone camera things from within the bounty, uh, ballot counting uh, stations at like four a.m. Surely that's a lot more incisive i mean i'm not an expert or anything but, but you'd also convince the judge that way yeah. you don't convince a judge by saying every voter in in the state of pennsylvania is fraudulent yeah. and also here's a bunch of evidence of like a few hundred it's like okay well that's going to make the judge think you're wasting his time yes so but that's there's one other point uh ben made which is it's it's very much the way ben puts it is it's very much like uh, when the left accuses a police officer of acting racist because yeah. a white cop shoots a black guy, therefore there's racism. Well, not necessarily. There's the opportunity for racism, and it's the same way with the Dominion voting system and the and the voting stuff. Yeah. Like we, you know, well, John Oliver 
very helpfully showed us how to hack them and that they're unguarded and you could just walk in and do it. Absolutely. But that doesn't prove that they were. Okay, yeah. it just shows and that the, it, as, it as can Elizabeth be done. Warren said, you know, there are some severe concerns about this. You know, I'm so glad she wrote to the head of these companies because there are huge suspicions. But again, if you don't actually show that it happened, you ain't going to win the court case. Exactly. So it's, it's disappointing to see this. Mm. Um, I mean, at least one thing, like I said last time we were talking about this, we can learn is you've got to destroy these online and email voting systems. Yep. Sorry, in electronic voting systems. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they have email ones in the in the U.S. Um, interestingly, we did no. we did try this in the in the UK in two thousand and seven, I think it was, and majorly in in Swindon was one oh, of the trial it? areas. Right, okay. Absolute failure. The uh, the guys didn't have enough time to set up the software or the machines. Yeah. And when they did come in, the level of scrutiny was very very low. Very few people understood how the code worked. They had yep. to get specialists from central government, and it cost about I think it was a hundred to six hundred pounds per voter for each trial. Absolute waste of time. So we never did it again. So I don't understand why the Americans keep them. Yeah, we returned to pottery shards. Pieces of paper. <laughs> what is it with pottery shots? Like, we don't have to do the pottery shots. It's authentic. Just because the Greeks did it. It's authentic. Okay. It's got the romantic value. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a real thing. You know, it's not just a piece yeah. of paper <clears throat> or, a, or a number on a screen. But uh, there was a quick update from the uh, Wayne County uh, Republican Democrat war over the, um, the, the fact that the ballot tallies were incorrect and they were. Uh, um, uh, not lining up, and the uh, what was his name? The I can't remember the guy's name. Who was screaming at them that they're racists? The stain of racism was on them forever and will be for all time. It was Black Lives Matter. Ned, something like that. Was his name? Oh, Ned, Ned Strabe or something like yeah. that. Uh, yeah, but um, but yeah, he, they, this is uh, this one. So yesterday we covered how um, they had uh, been doxed, harassed, threatened, and just essentially intimidated. Uh, coerced into uh, confirming uh, the, uh, sorry, certifying uh, the ballots. But today they have apparently uh, come out and claimed in signed affidavits that they were bullied into siding with the Democrats and have now rescinded their votes to certify. Um, Hartman said in the affidavit that he observed about 71% of Detroit's 134 absent voter counting boards were left unbalanced and many unexplained. He said if he voiced concerns and said if the votes don't match, there should be some kind of explanation. Powell said that she had spotted the same thing. These are the two Republicans. I did not. I've, I voted not to certify, and I still believe this whole vote should uh, this vote should not be certified until these questions are addressed. Uh, I remain opposed to certification of the Wayne County results. Uh, she also said that she faced accusations of racism and threats to her family. So that's just a bit of an update on the ongoing drama of whether the Democrats can harass the Republicans into simply capitulating. And uh, yesterday I expressed that I was disappointed that they didn't, and today they refused. So thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's interesting, though, because mm. my understanding was he agreed, provided there was an audit into the vote, so that's everything correct. would be looked yep. over again. So is he now saying that the audit won't be enough, or is he saying, yep. I just... They've that- rescinded on the compromise. The audit was a compromise, and... Uh, I guess because of the way that they've been treated by the Democrats, it seems that they've decided, nope, we've been intimidated here, we're not going to sign this, and uh, we still think that these irregularities need uh, addressing, which I think is totally fair. Because how many votes is he looking at there? I think he said 71% he certified, so that would be 29 that he didn't. Uh, yeah. So in a, I think up there... Oh, no, a- no, so, so, yeah, 79%, uh, no, 71% of the 134 absent voter counting boards, so we don't know how many votes it is, particularly, okay. uh, were left unbalanced and explained. But this is the most populous district uh, in uh, is it Michigan. So there's something like 1.7 million people there. So it could be quite a few votes. That's the kind of thing, you know, the Trump uh, uh, yeah. legal team need to go after us, essentially. You know, yeah. here's, here's a big amount of votes. We weren't able to certify them. We're not sure if we can accept them yeah. or the procedures are wrong. But I don't see them going after like that. They, they, That's they seem, what they need to go after. Yeah, they see. I mean, Giuliani is going. This is related to the Detroit one where they were boarding up the windows. Uh, Giuliani is going after this. It's just don't make big sweeping claims. I mean, the thing is, Giuliani being like you know the sort of old political dog who's been in the in the New York political system and that sort of area for a long time. When he when he starts giving the sort of rhetoric about how the democratic machine fixes these cities they control, this is doubtless all true in the way that sort of like you know the underlying reality of the people on the ground, you know, the people in the know who go, yeah, yeah, so-and-so spoke to so-and-so, but it's all unprovable in a court of law because a lot of it's done just by implication or by, a, you know, verbal address. So unless you've got recording, you can't prove it. Um, 
and but but Giuliani is referring to that rather than to hard evidence, and it's frustrating. And I can see why the sort of legal uh, YouTubers are like, "There's no hype here." Yeah, I mean, like take Birmingham for example. Like everyone mm-hmm. there knew it was going on yeah. for years, and they were eventually able to prove it in a court case. That's what you need. Yeah, but it takes a long time yeah. for for you know whistleblowers and leakers to come out and find the evidence and things like this. And so Giuliani should be, in my opinion, just laser focused on these obvious cases. Like, I mean, you're intimidating the, you know, dox them, harassing them. This is not acceptable. This is not a free and fair election, is it? That's not free. If you're intimidating and doxing people. 